Hi Starbright, I'm Taylor. I work for Ottawa Paramedic Service in the logistics section and today we're going to give you guys an ambulance tour. So inside the cab we have this computer. It's called a tablet or an EPCR, and it's for mapping and finding out where the call is. Behind that, we have our radio. Dalton area of the Maryville Road and... A radio goes down this cord here, and we have this guy here that you speak to. All of these guys control our lights. This is our emergency lights. These are our side lights, and these are just lights for around the ambulance for scene safety and uh, being able to see what you're doing when you're outside. Uh, these are our sirens and our horns. If you flick this on, then the siren will go. Uh, our steering wheel, obviously. Um, the regular lights. Uh, we have our other radios that the medics wear on them while they're going into houses or into anything that um, they can't be in the truck. They take a radio with them so they can still communicate with dispatch. Now uh, we have a PPE. We have another laptop that we do all of our patient charts in, our uh, ACRs, uh, patient information, tracking location stuff. In our first cabinet here, we have our high risk PPE and an MCI kit. Going into this one here, we have our stair chair for carrying patients up and down stairs or out of tricky situations. Um, our flares, our salt, um, some flashlights, and of course, because we live in Canada, some snow brushes. This is called a dirty door. So we put our garbage and bio bins in there. Now we'll head into the back and we'll see what's back here. Going up into the back of the ambulance. This is our oxygen station. Uh, this is where we get our high flow O2. Our PPEs, um, gloves, these are yellow blankets, our hoods. Um, this is all our masks, our glucometer. Um, if you have a respiratory emergency, um, Anything you need for that, you'll find in here. Uh, we have our saline, we have our med bins, uh, we have our ECG pads, um, our blood pressure cuffs, all different sizes. We have our smart lines for delivering oxygen via nasal cannula, um, our sphygma monitor, and some ice packs. In the cabinet just below, we have more masks, um, sterile water, Anything you need, um, like a urinal or a bedpan or toilet paper. This box is our obstetrics kit, uh, VVAC, um, CPAP, more masks, um, our hot packs, and then this is suction supplies. Up here is just blankets and sheets, um, some sliders in case we need to get someone um, out of a corner or a tight space. Uh, in here we have our IV kits, our med bags, our LMA, our OPA NPAs. Um, extra stra straps for the stretcher and these just adjust for pediatric patients. They make the stretcher a little more comfortable and secure for them. And this is just more suction canisters for the wall over there. So this is our stretcher. This is our defib. Turn that on and show you. This is our per diem bag. This is our Flynn. Um, in here is some oxygen that the medics take with them inside the scene. Um, it's just NPAs and OPAs. Inside this one is a BVM. Uh, I'll get into what's in our bags a little bit later, but this is our stretcher. On this shelf, just inside the doors, we have our portable suction. We have our trauma kits. We have our CTAS. Our CTAS has an intubation kit on it as well. Um, down here we have a fire extinguisher, an extra garbage, some wipes. Going under our bench right here, 
Under our bench, we have additional PPE in here, uh, an extra pillow. We have our speed splints. We have the box of BVM stuff, extra masks, peep valves, stuff like that. This is a burn kit in your sharps container. So it pops out like that. So you can put your sharps in when the bench is closed. On this door here, we also have uh, some spare D tanks in case you're thin on your stretcher. Remember we saw one in there, needs a refill. In this door here, which is on the back outside, we have our backboards and we have a toolbox just down there. This is just another door to get in. You can go in this way as well. In this door here, just behind the passenger door, we have two spinals. We have two saggers and two keds. Um, we have a canvas stretcher. We have a scoop, we have a pediatric scoop, and we have our M tank. Our M tank is what feeds the do, 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 do. Oop. that guy there that I turned on earlier. Going under our hood, uh, this is our windshield washer fluid. Uh, this is our depth stick. This is our coolant, this is our brake fluid. And this is our battery. This is a PRU. So we are for, very fortunate in Ottawa to have many different vehicles. And I'll just show you them right now. A PRU is all the same things as an ambulance, except it's an SUV and it can't transport patients. In the back of our soups or our PRUs, uh, we have a rescue bag. Uh, we have this guy here. We have a defib, we have PPEs, a trauma, and in the back we have a Lucas as well. This is a Lucas. So a Lucas actually takes over for compression long scene. So this is the inside of a Lucas. Uh, the patient would go here and the suction cup would imitate CPR. This is an SRU or a strategic response unit back of the SRU is a little bit different. Um, there's these jump seats for the crew. Uh, military mojo bags are there, or the TAC unit stuff, and a stretcher. This is our bus. Here's where the medics return their truck for the afternoon. So I'm gonna show you the lights. Okay, All right, you've seen our ambulances, you've seen our equipment, you've seen our bus, you've seen our side-by-side -side and our SRUs. And I gotta get back to work. Thank you for watching. Bye.